If you've seen Kim Gar's profile in the previous lectures, you might have noticed the 247,000 tweets. You might have thought, my God, she can't have sat there and typed all those out manually. You're right. Those are posted with an automatic poster. And Twitter is very good for auto posting. A lot of other social networks like Facebook, auto posting will often kill you on Facebook. On Twitter, auto posting is awesome. And you can auto post, according to Kim Gar's tweets here, about every 15 minutes with some of the popular auto posting. You can see that's exactly what she's doing. And it looks like if this is an indication from my own Twitter account, that looks like it might be from Hootsuite, which is what I use to post my Twitter status updates. And so consistently down here, you can see Kim Garth relentlessly posts on Twitter every 15 minutes constantly. If you scroll down all day, every day around the clock, posts every 15 minutes. So obviously she's not sitting there doing that. What she's doing is using an auto poster and it looks like it's probably Hootsuite. So I have Hootsuite also right in my tools here. And you can just sign in with Twitter. I authorize app. And now what you see is my Hootsuite dashboard. And you can see, oh, look, I've got scheduled posts going out on LinkedIn, my company page, and on both my Twitter accounts. And so that's how you get the real value out of using your Twitter followers is by doing these automatic posts. Now, I'm scheduled on a bunch of different accounts here, and technically Joseph scheduled all of these. I didn't schedule any of these. But you write these tweets, and then you can repeatedly send them out over different times and different days. So that's what I have. I gave Joseph a sheet of hundreds of tweets pre-written already, and then Joseph scheduled these to go out on my Twitter accounts. And then sometimes, just by sheer luck, you can see Kim Garst on this tweet, 12 favorites, 5 retweets. On this one, 13 favorites, 9 retweets. Sometimes just by sheer luck, your tweet will happen to come out at the right time. And so when that happens, then you can get website traffic, you can get retweets, you can get organic engagement. And so that's what Kim Garst is doing, that's what I'm doing on my profile. You scroll down here, my profile looks much the same, except... One thing Joseph does that works really well, you can see on my profile, Joseph is retweeting and interacting with the people who are following me. And that tends to work really good for building up your presence. And also then, Joseph's able to go through and retweet my own account. So Jerry Banfield retweets Banwork. Then Banwork retweets Jerry Banfield. Because my followers are not the same on each account. And so I can reach the full 100,000 followers. And you'll notice some of my tweets don't have any action, at least as you can see. But what I can see on YouTube is that Twitter is continually growing as a referral source for my videos. And then some of these tweets, like this one has 34 retweets on it. Some of these end up getting a lot of tweets by using another third-party tool that I'll show you works really well, combined with Facebook.